Today we are making some clay magnets. Okay, so while coloring the clay, let me quickly tell you why I decided to make clay magnets today all of a sudden. So at first, I thought that this video will just be a regular vlog. But then all of a sudden, Ma informed me that our house will need some urgent repairs that needs to get started from tomorrow. So instead of filming a vlog, I started packing my stuffs into this little cardboard boxes while our house is getting painted and repaired. The one good thing that happened though in between was I found a box full of clay cutters and cookie cutters that I used to collect a lot back in 2020. I really don't know why I collected them back in the days. I did not have a clay business back then but I think I was thinking of starting one and so I thought maybe if I collect these clay cutters, I can maybe make some simple flat magnets or clay pins. But the irony is I have never in my life sold a single magnet or a single pin in my life. And the most shocking thing is I have never even made magnets ever in my life. So today I thought why not make them. Okay so now all the colors are done and I particularly chose all the colors that I think will be suiting my aesthetic. Choosing my colors and designs is very important when I am designing any of my character and the same is true when you are designing your website as well. And this is where our today's sponsor Squarespace comes in. A platform that helps you create your own website that matches your unique aesthetic. As someone who has no knowledge in website making, I can tell it's extremely easy to use. Thanks to their amazing features like pre-designed templates, fluid engine feature for drag and drop ease, flexible payment option for customers and many others. And you can try out all of them for free by visiting squarespace.com. And then when you are ready to launch your site, head over to squarespace.com slash sugar cafe charms and use code sugar cafe charms to get 10% off on your first purchase of a domain or a website and thank you so much squarespace for sponsoring today's video and supporting my business so as i said my colors are all done so what i'm going to do is move on to make the little shapes which i am most excited about because i have all these clay cutters that i really really want to use I am most excited about these two plastic cutters that I have shaped like a bear and a cat and I think I can make a lot of designs with this. So let's get started. You guys have to trust me when I say that this probably was the most satisfying thing that I have done in a while. Usually I hand sculpt everything so when the cutters are doing most of my work it was just super satisfying and even the process was very relaxing. If you are a beginner clay artist and you are just starting out and you are not sure what you want to sell and at the same time you want something easy and fast and time effective to sell in your business, I think you can definitely start by making magnets or pins or something which is essentially flat and in those cases I think getting yourself some clay cutters can be really helpful. But if you are just doing it for fun and you don't really have any clay cutters, that's fine. You can just hand cut everything using an exacto knife. I just happen to have these cutters and so that's why I'm using them to the fullest. But as I said, you can definitely hand cut them out which will give you more freedom on what shape you want them to be. Honestly though, these type of clay cutters are really inexpensive and you can definitely find some in kids section. I think that the two little cutters that I'm using right now which are red in color, I think I got them from my cousin brother's play-doh kit. I am 99% sure about this 
and I think the flower one and the circle one that I will be using later in the video I think I got them from some baking market I think they should be used for cookie cutters but of course we can do it with clay as well but anyways I was having a lot of fun just cutting out these pieces and I spent a good hour or two just cutting out these shapes initially I thought that maybe I will make five or six of them but then the process was so strangely addictive <laughs> I don't know why it was so relaxing to do I think the clay coming out with perfect shape every time was something that was making it relaxing for me to do but I think I have a new hobby guys my new hobby is cutting out clay with clay cutters also if you're wondering what kind of clay I'm using I'm just using my homemade cold porcelain for all of these and this is a type of air dry clay and it actually dries pretty fast on the surface so when you roll them out try to cut them with your cookie cutter or if you're hand cutting them do it as quickly as you can because otherwise the surface kind of like starts to dry up and become a little bit crumbly so what you can also do is make it up in batches like I did. I rolled a small amount of clay, cut out the pieces and then moved on with other pieces. Okay guys as you can see my table is a bit messy but at least we have these which are looking really cute. Now as you can see I am adding little details, I am using a combination of chalk pastel, little strips of clay and later I will also be using some alcohol markers and fine liner pens to make some details. The great thing about making flat clay art like this is that you don't have to worry too much about imperfections because it's basically 2D and it's very easy to manage as compared to 3D things that I usually make. So that's why I think that this is a very beginner friendly project. Also I don't know if you noticed this or not but I'm using the same bear mold to make a frog as well and I know I am a genius. And I'm using the same bear mold to make a capybara as well and it honestly looked pretty good as well. So with that one cookie cutter, I was able to make around 5 to 10 different designs. A lot of people ask me why you make all the details with clay and why don't you paint instead of adding them with clay. And the simple answer is I am not really good at hand drawing or painting. But with this I was not too stressed, I was only making this for my home so I just tried out hand drawing some things and it turned out pretty well not that bad so this is your sign to try out new things and maybe it will turn out better than you think the final step to complete this is to glaze everything using uv resin you can use epoxy resin as well or any other kind of varnish that is available with you or you can just leave it plain if you want to but I just really like the shiny finish that the resin gives it. I don't think that there is too much for me to explain in this process. It's pretty self explanatory but one thing that I definitely learned is when you are using UV resin, make sure that the edges are glazed pretty well because after you cure them using UV light, I saw that it tends to pull up from the side so make sure that you are applying a generous layer over the edges and also instead of brushing the UV resin try to dab it for an even finish.
Very mindful, very demure, very cute.